Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. You guys seem to love the Halo Reach PC mission that I did with the first access to the first flight. And this is another Halo PC game that I got offered to play before it comes out. And just looking at the opening so far, it looks absolutely beautiful. So this variant is called Single Player Version 3. It's an updated version of Halo CE. And you guys know how much I love Halo Combat Evolved, so I'm going to be very skeptical. We're going to play through it together, we're going to go through a variety of missions, and we're going to see how the game plays. So let's jump into it. First of all, let's go into settings. Ooh, this is actually the sensitivity is really quick. Uh, got my name, yep, alright, we've got mid blitz already set up. And controls, so we've got all of these, that seems pretty straightforward. Movement, miscellaneous, we don't need them. Oh, this, they might be online. That's a single player, so probably not. Now we have actions. Scope can be right button. Jump space, that's all good. And that can be that. And action is E to get into vehicle, that's fine. And then we have combat. So we got fire weapon, throw grenade, switch grenade, switch weapon. Yep, that's fine. So I basically set all these up so it's exactly the same as Halo Online and Halo on PC, which is fantastic. Let's go to okay to that. Um, we got mouse. I set the sense to be really low to one, and it's still so fast. So we'll see how that goes. And audio is everything's pretty fine. So we'll see okay to that. Let's save. This little loading screen looks fantastic though. Hot oh, damn. I respect all the effort they put into this by the way. Okay, so let's go campaign. Do we want to do the old school or the new school? I think we just all start with the classic one, we'll see how it is. So we got Discovery, Witness the Discovery of Halo. That's probably the first when they actually fly into it. Got all of them, you got outbreaks, that's when all the flood. Yeah, so you got landing, all right, that makes sense, that's pretty cool. Well, let's try the very start and see how it looks like. And we got normal, heroic, legendary, noble. That's pretty good. All right, let's see how this looks. I won't talk too much. I love this game. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. We made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? <laughs> Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon... Kind of looks like he's wearing slippers. <laughs> but like, out of bed. isolated <laughs> approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it, then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. Everyone. And Cortana. Mm hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. You know, it's interesting. I might throw up a comparison between Halo Combat Evolve Anniversary and this, and you guys can see which one is better. But for these guys being fan-made and making this, it looks absolutely fantastic from what I've seen so far. This is Platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. Fort Lee's Platoon rendezvous with 22nd Tactical at Bullhead Charlie 14.
We'll skip the cutscenes in a second, but I just want to hear this bit. I love this cutscene, this bit. Once again, it is our job to finish what the Flyboy started. We are leaving this ship platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing. Am I right, Marine? Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out. Double time. Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close. This is going to be your lucky day. Alrighty. Wow. Sure. Let's uh let's get playing, guys. First opinion of Chief looks fantastic. Definitely looks better than it does in the original. So good job, guys. It looks oh awesome. Trying to run to around. Oof, I feel like I'm playing ten cents right here. Oh, well, he's dead already. Oh fuck, he got destroyed by the brute. The thing I'm really noticing just by starting the game is that how they've incorporated the brutes and other factions that weren't in the original game, which honestly is a big step up in my opinion. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Alright, so we're going to try the gameplay for a little bit, and then we're going to see what the other missions are like, and see just how good this game really is. Okay, so the first thing I notice is the Magnum shoots a hell of a lot faster. Whoa, that is much faster. Compared Those to the uh... help, Chief. Do what you do best. Oh, I shot the Marine. <laughs> Compared to the original Halo C E. I have to thank Masters for getting me into playing this. Because anything new that's Halo related, you better believe I'm gonna be all over it. I friggin' love Halo. I'll see the grenade animation real quick. That's pretty good. So one thing, Halo C, it's it's frag grenades are good, but the puzzle grenades are just garbage. So that's pretty good, man. Honestly. Yeah, you're a tank marine. Yeah, something just hit us. I I don't know what happened. He just died. Oops. Something I always noticed was um. How many times Johnson dies in the Halo C campaigns? But yeah, he survives overall. Like, <clears throat> give me a second, let me just kill these guys real quick. See ya! Alright, cool. So, uh... That's not, that's not Johnson. But, uh... That's Johnson. He, he dead. Alright! How does he have... <laughs> He's got white hands and dark skin. Man, okay. Alright, um, let's just keep moving. <laughs> let's keep going. Well, the gameplay feels really fluid as well. Like, I'm not the best PC player. I mean, I've played for a little while now, so I'm pretty solid. But honestly, I'm really enjoying like, how smooth this feels. Like, it actually runs as smoothly as Halo Reach did when I played it the other day. So. In that regard, guys, you you absolutely knocked this out of the ballpark. Using our lifeboat airlocks to attach their craft. looks craft. really good. We go out and they I like all the added features us. that like put into the game. It makes it feel really cool. Especially because I didn't get um, online gameplay until I don't know, 2009. I didn't play a lot on land, which is why I was pretty good when I started. But I never. Like, I played through the campaign so, so much that playing this, like, I might actually, like, play this moment recording for a video because I love these games so much. Having them from a different, um, standpoint is fantastic. Also, something I will notice is that when I play Halo CE, the movement feels very, like, clunky. And I know the jumping's still going to be pretty much the same, but the movement feels really, really good. Which is, maybe that's because I'm on PC. 
But um, yeah, All right, so far I actually love this. Yeah, I got one of those really cool grenades. Remember I saw Ubernick doing a playthrough. Yeah, I saw Ubernick doing a uh, playthrough and he had re really cool grenades. Look at that. They're getting absolutely annihilated. <laughs> wow. Alright, well that just made that room a hell of a lot easier, guys. So one thing I really loved about this particular build is that they've added all of these new areas for us to explore. So when I saw Nick's version of this, I'm like, oh my god, he's doing the more, he's doing the last mission. It's literally the first mission. But it's got like the more areas in it. Plus it's got all the other factions. It looks bloody awesome. I also love that they put the DMR and the BR in this game. The BR, I've played a lot of Halo Online, and honestly the BR feels like a version. Like, you have the default battle rifle on Halo Online, and you have this updated version of it. That's honestly awesome. So going between single fire and burst fire is a really nice touch. So. But I'm going to say, I thought the mission was almost over, so I cut to the next bit. I've been playing for like another 10-15 minutes. This mission is like at least double, if not triple in length. It should be the end right here. Let's just uh, spam grenades like fashion. Is this it? Is this the end? Yay! Awesome. Now would be a very good time to leave. The SMG too. Which looks awesome. Explosions look good too, actually. For being entirely redone, they look awesome. Sure, you wouldn't rather take a seat? We'll be fine. I'm losing her. Right for impact. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. All right, we're gonna watch the opening to this next mission, and then yeah, we'll try Chief? some vehicle action. Chief, can you hear me? At last, are you alright? It skipped the cutscene. I didn't even do anything. The others, the impact. Johnson's hurt again. Prince E to revive Johnson. Did he die in the other mission? Real good, jackass. <laughs> all right, so they actually kept some people alive this time. So what happens if I shoot the wildlife? We didn't bring enough ammo to kill all these things. Warning. Didn't bring, didn't bring enough ammo, huh? Ships on approach. Uh, that was easy. Into those hills. Now, if, if you guys do want to see me complete this entire game as a series, I'd be happy to do so. Because I'm probably going to play through it anyway, because anything that lets me relive my childhood and lets me enjoy things, you better believe that I'm going to play the hell out of it. Oh, it's got skirmishes, and they look like bloody sniper covenant weapons. Can I take Johnson's sniper? You monkeys almost look like soldiers there. Let's see, what is it? Is this a carbine? It is. I also know that recently they upgraded from single player version 3.1 to 3.2, and there's a hell of a lot of new things. There's like six new missions and like a hundred different updates that have come out. <laughs> this feels like a damn beast of a gun! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, it's, it's on um, 
You're gonna have to reload it? Dude! Alright, this is my new favorite gun. This carbine feels like an absolute monster. Dude! <laughs> I didn't think I could rapid fire! That's crazy! New favorite gun. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's so cool. He's dead. Damn, Johnson is actually tearing faces. He's like going on a montage. He's killing everybody. One grip, one grip I think I would have. I need to check. After I can find a spare gun. Let me see. So I've keybinded my things to, um... Let's see here. Yeah, it says hold E to swap for Needler, but I've keybinded it to V, that's what I'm comfortable with. So that's one thing I think they should fix. It's a little fix, it's a minor issue with an otherwise game that looks bloody awesome. Keep in mind, these guys aren't AAA developers. These are guys who are passionate about Halo. I like the Halo Online guys. And yeah, it looks so good. Let's see how quick this takes this out. <laughs> oh my god, it's a monster! Absolute monster. A mongoose as well. Crazy. Okay, Team, right, it just crushes it. Does that mean Johnson's gonna get in the sniper seat and just absolutely tear Back everyone a new one? Where are you going, Johnson? Get in the damn thing. We need that road hog if we want to get to the other lifeboats in time. You'd be bailing on me. I don't think so, Johnson. Nah, -uh, you don't get to. This is a. No! Ah! You don't get to leave. You don't get to leave. You don't. Traitor. Traitor comes back. Oh, so they added vehicles here too, and they slaughtered all the wildlife. How dare they? There are so many more enemies here. Traitor comes back. 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 What is that? Is that a it's focus rifle? Must be. Come oh, Marine, shoot. Shoot them. Shoot to kill. Can you still do this speedrun strat? Is the question! Oh my god. Does this strat work? Oh yeah, it does. You better believe it. It's skill gap elites. I don't think so. Oh my god, I almost walked all the way through it. <laughs> See that? That looks beautiful. Just with cheat activating the thing. I might actually make that the thumbnail. I haven't decided yet. Put a little SPV3 logo down while he's activating the thing. Another thing I've noticed about this game is that when I originally listened to the dialogue, I don't know if it was because I was playing on a TV and I just didn't have like headphones in or earbuds, I'm reading um, IFF I couldn't, okay, this is different, it's very different, um, I can actually clearly tell what Cortana is saying, holy shit, he's, okay, yep. Yeah. What up, guys? Holy crap, he, he got put on a spot, man. And I love that there's new atmosphere. Like, I didn't just drive out of that cave, and it was just the exact same, like, reunion tour message you get at the bottom. Like, if I wanted that, I could just go and play the original, um, CE. Which would be fine, by the way. I love that game to bits. But just since I played it, I don't know, about three, four hundred times when I was a kid, um, it's kind of something to be like, wow. It's, uh, it's a new take on an original. It gives me even more replayability. Ow, 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 ow! Marine, you killed me! Also, in load time after you die is really sped up. Will it boost at me? Is the question. I'll kind of do that. 
Oh, we did a backflip! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah. I gave him a bad angle, hold on. Alright, uh, shoot him. Can you hijack? <gasps> he one hit us! Yes, it did. Oh my god, let's go. Alert! Reading multiple inbound targets. Red isn't my color, but That's cool. I didn't know this is okay, I this is cool. I can respect this. Holy crap, it almost splattered me. Not yet. I really want to use the sniper. Hey, reunion tour. And it's a random ass mongoose. Alright, so maybe this is the end of the mission here. So I'm shooting a damn laser beam at them. I'm oh, getting no scoped. <laughs> what is this? Is it? It's gotta be a focus rifle. There it is. The reach focus rifle was absolutely terrible. I hope this is actually better. Uh, yep, that's uh, pretty OP. <laughs> yeah, that that shit's OP. I'm gonna have to use the sniper. I'm most most of the covenant weapons, the carbine, the focus rifle, they are all very very strong now. Oh, yeah, quick scope. It's so easy to use mouse and keyboard. Open up! Oh, they come through that. Can you backpack reload? You can backpack reload! Yes! <laughs> that door sock is OP. I haven't seen any chieftains yet. I mean, you've seen like the captains, but no chieftains. Alright, all dead. That's the last of them. Roger hey, we, 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 we done! New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found so I'm gonna let this mission wrap He's up, and then I'm gonna give my final thoughts. Cruiser. There are a couple things the I want to say about it. I'm, I'm overall, I'm 99% happy with this dog. game. It's awesome. The truth and reconciliation touched down on a plateau roughly 300 kilometers up spin. All right, let's let's get in. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Aboard, get destroyed. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll go. Oh. Was, that was awesome. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. My final thoughts are, if you want something to do, and you're a bit bored with what's offered currently with Halo, and you want something to kind of fill in time before Halo MCC Reach or Reach on PC comes out, this would be an awesome thing to do. I played for about two hours, I only got through the first two missions because they've included so many things. If you've already played SPV3 and you... Like, oh, well, I've already played it. I don't want to do it. They've actually added six new missions to 3.2 as of making this video. So jump in, play it. It's with the Elites, and it's really awesome. So check that out. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, I can make this into an entire series of me playing through this if you guys really enjoy it. But I've got another Halo PC video coming out soon. Then we're waiting for the next flighting. It's going to be Firefight, Halo Reach Firefight. So I'm going to compare the Xbox 360 to PC and see the differences. But thank you all so much for watching. I enjoyed playing this today, and I'll have a link to the download in the description. So see you guys later, and thank you for watching.